Okay, so this is Buzz Lightyear Star Command for the Game Boy Color. This game has a ton of sound effects that just are spam over and over again. So yeah, I guess we're starting on Joel 1. So this is essentially just a 2D demake of the PlayStation PC game. It's pretty neat to see. It is a little boring, but you essentially just grab, like, you collect power-ups and you try and race the boss to the end of the stage. And then once you, if you beat them, then you get to fight them at the end. You can also collect XRs, but I don't I think it just really um, adds to the score. You can get like a perfect run by defeating all the enemies, but I don't give a crap about that. And then all of the bosses are based off of um, actual villains from the show. You get stuck also pretty easily in like the edges. Um, this game has really weird physics. Like it, it literally, um, it tracks momentum fully, it, like literally fully tracks momentum, so it's a little bit sluggish to get used to. Press select to switch between different guys. So that's the first stage done. And this stage has fire, you cannot go over it unless it'll start burning you. So you try and avoid that, they also have, uh, like, different power-ups that let you, that are making you vulnerable to it. If I can get this darn thing, there we go. So you kinda have to fight with the physics sometimes, or the momentum of the game. I am completely just going over the fire there. Is this... Yeah, this is fire protection, so now I'm vulnerable to fire. I can't get that, that's the hoverboard. The board also has you have your both with them, so you don't have to worry about the fire for the Which is nice, but it is on the timer. And here's the end already. I heard. So... She, the, um, colors on the, on the bosses, like, represent what projectile you should use to fight against them. Um, in this case, they actually do provide you with the correct projectiles occasionally. Um, and so those are blue, you see, and now they're attacking easier. And then the white is just anything, so you can use anything to slowly raise the bar down. And there's that one down. A lot of this game is just blasting your way through. This one's my favorite because it just does a lot of damage really quickly. That's a teleporter. The three arrows that cost two coins are jump points. So they jump you ahead of the boost pads, basically. Yeah, they're there. And fly ahead, just for a second of it, and full health, and I have, I think, most, most if not all of the powers. So yeah, this red one is the torpedo looking one, this one. And that's level 3 done. Okay, um, level 3 against Nosfori 2. I think this one's gonna be lightning, because it's the only power up here over there. Yep, and it's also Nosfori 2. There we go, level 4 done. A lot of this game is kind of just running forward and shooting. Um, there's not really much, unless you want to really go for all of the extra stuff. But otherwise, it's just kind of running forward, moving left and right occasionally, and all the time, constantly. Holy <laughs> projectiles. <laughs> and that's the goal already. Okay, so this is the first one I think where you need multiple, maybe. Alright, level four done. Oh wait, no, no, that was level five. This is level six now. Uh, this I think this is ice, but it slows you down. Okay, this is the boss now. That's that a level done. Level seven. And then we're back on the hopefully Joe level. Like that. Ooh, here's a bend in the level. That one's uneventful. Oh yeah, I forgot, um, like, a couple of the previous enemies, I think maybe just the first level, um, show up in the repeat levels, um, that they were already in, um, and they are just resorted to, like, enemies that take, like, three hits to clip to beat. And that's another one down. Level 8. There's 12 levels in total. Oh, look, it's four. Oh, yeah, I forgot these. These snake things invert your controls. Oh. This doesn't hurt you. This is just normal platforms in the middle of lava. Oh. I only have two powers. So I should probably get some more now. Um, thankfully, they have some here. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, no, he has lightning. I can't. I don't have lightning. Crap. But I do. Oh no, it's this stage. I hate this one. So, if you fall into those pits, you die and that's an automatic uh, lose. So, yeah, we're gonna try and avoid those. Oh! And I'm still currently um, on my only... 
my original power up. I only have one at the moment. Oh, uh, it's this one. Now you have to actually jump. So there's a tiny bit of platforming in this entire game, and it's frick. Yeah, so you automatically die. <laughs> my finger is gonna be freaking black and blue after this from pushing down this button so hard. Whoa! This is a shield. Protection shield. Finally, we're at the boss. Ah, crap. I keep, like, quickly trying to s hit the select button and accidentally pressing the pause button. Boom. Level 9 done. I'm getting pretty low on health here. Should probably find a health pick up. Okay, that one's getting pretty low on health there. I don't think it does that much damage, but oh, it goes fast. Rapid fire. Machine gun. Pew 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 This is probably gonna be one of the longer ones, um, since it's the second to last level. The final level is Zerg, of course. I already... I am getting super low on health. Holy crap. I keep running in the sh... Okay, there's that one done. The lowest I've gotten to health so far, 35. Final level, Planet Z! Yes, I'm, I might actually die on this stage, I'm not totally sure yet. Um, considering there's so much projectiles. Oh dear! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to restart there. Oh my gosh, there's health! Let me get over there quickly. Another health! Oh, whoa, I, I almost missed that. Of course this is in the last level, they, um, just unfairly barrage you with a crap ton of enemies and, sp like, sp sporadically put all the weapons out so that you have to find them yourself and end up dying before you can make it to it, just to add some artificial difficulty to it. Yeah, that's a fun game mechanic. Finally. Um, I might die to this boss battle, not sure totally yet. Just gotta stay out of Zergy Boy's way. He has the most powers. I think he has every single one. Um, just to add some difficulty to it. Okay, this is it. This is the final shot I have of him. And there we go. That is the final final boss. Um, and that's the end of the game. So yeah, it was a pretty meh experience. Um, music's pretty good. And the gameplay's not terrible, it's just kind of monotonous. Um, it's the end. Credits are nice, though. They have little sprites that are um, supposed to represent the developers. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's that's it. Um, it's the entire game. And my foot fell asleep, so I'm going to go and fix that now.